Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Nice day and sunny day today. And uh, today I am planning to show you that how how I insert these piston rings in this uh, Toyota VVTi engine. And now I have all necessary necessary things in here. We need of course this piston and piston rings and then this piston ring compressor tool this is must or then similar tool and then we need also normal this motor and engine oil what, what I need to insert in this uh, piston rings when I insert that piston in this piston piston ring compressor tool and first step as always when we are starting to do anything in this high technology motors what are all all those holes and things there is so small tolerances is that we need to all time clean this all surface in, in this cylinder tube area and also in this piston area and also this plates always anything or any dirty or things all time away and in that piston ring work I recommend the best best material is t-shirt what is cotton and I have here one one old t-shirt where is in here and I do so that I I take small parts in this my t-shirt so that that I use I, le I, I take my tool and then I cut a little bit in this this cotton and this must be white cotton and especially this quality should be the best one and I have noticed that that there is there is brand what is cotton quality it is Egyptian Egyptian cotton and it's very smooth and and there is no any dusty things in this cotton and this is best for motor motor repairs and cleaning and and first step when I have in here this an especially this white color is the best one because we can then very easily see those dirty things and, and first thing is that we need to clean out again this piston and, and now now this surface in here must be clean there are both sides and then this piston ring area that, that I press my this thumb and fingers in here and I clean all of those particles away and then, then we check that what I I got there is only a little bit oily and some things and then of course I clean this top area that there is no any dirty particles because those dirty particles are really bad they, they and why they are bad because they do small scratches in here in this case and every scratch small or big makes this motor profit loss and then we don't have those our horsepowers and kilowatts goes away okay now this piston is clean and next one is to clean of course this cylinder tube this surface in here and for that I use to continue my cotton cloth and there is idea that hold this piston uh, sorry this uh, cylinder tube and hold all areas must be clean in this end area in here and actually we can insert our hand in there and a little bit clean clean out that there is no any any things and now this this looks this looks very good and then we can check also in inside in there that what is their situation that there we can see that there is now this clean surface that there is no any oily or other things okay this is good and next step is that we need to take this this piston ring compressor tool 
and also in there that we use this cotton, white cotton cloth and, and we clean this inside area because there can be those sand and, and rusty and metallic part in there that is always this cleaning. It's the must when we assemble engines. Even small dusty particles can destroy our car's performance. Okay, and now this looks like nice cleaning for the more polish then better. And this is fine. And next okay and there there was there was when I, I next I need to set <coughs> set up this piston rings that this oily ring it can be in that position but then this that that piston ring what is in middle between that and that I, I insert that hole in here there is hole on the same side in then and then I need to insert that first piston ring what I am now moving that this whole hole is in this opposite side in here and I carefully and there is this hole it's nice to remember okay that's good and then this piston is ready and <coughs> and now now I insert this piston in in here in one way but in later in next video I have to rotate this piston in in specific position because there are those uh, those uh, shapes in this piston head <coughs> piston head and these these uh, shapes are really important because these areas are for those valves what goes in down and if we set up this piston in wrong way then we can damage this piston because valves hits to directly in this piece piston head. There are valves moving in this car. Two, two in here and two in here. And that's the reason that why later I, I can rotate this piston when it's in in this tube. But now I insert this piston in there and I insert this compressor tool. And and first I need a little bit open that tool so that I press that carefully. And, and then this becomes bigger and 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 when when I I can I can little now it's bigger and then I need this compression ring tool what is in here and when I insert that in here and I start to rotate this in this way then this this uh, metallic plate plate becomes smaller and it takes thick, thicker contact in this uh, piston. It's my, like my fist is now piston. And when I compress, then this suddenly my fist is in the very thick. And now a little bit thick than that. And then I insert that tool in carefully in here. And why carefully? Because I don't like to move those piston rings position. And then Then I, then I start to little bit thick this, this tool and, and in that hands keep this in solid position and then I rotate and, and carefully we thicken this tool so long then this moves easily and, 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 and not too much force at so much that I can keep in hand in here and then then only if now it's fine okay and uh, this this is now in tick and then we check that is there everything okay and this everything okay means that that we we see that this piston is very very near this plate and all surface sometimes this this uh, this uh, piston ring can become in upper and then we need to uh, do this compression turn again and then I check this other area this, is there anything wrong and this wrong means that piston ring should be so in here and it's bad and that's fine and then I insert this this uh, connection rod in here in this tube and next part is important we need to insert this oily 
and I insert this oil in this all these areas in here. All areas in here. Oil, I rotate this tool and this oil is must because then, then this piston goes smoothly in this cylinder tool. And, and now there is this oil and then we need to lubricate this this, uh, this compression tool so that I need to move up this piston a little bit up and I insert my hands in here and I carefully lift up this piston so far that that not not too much this is the if I take this piston up then this uh, rings pop out and this is the must and now I I press that down and again little bit up and now I believe that there is oily in there and then I insert this piston in here and then there is next trick that, that I need to little bit press that piston down that those piston uh, this down areas parts like in here they become uh, visible in here and, and then carefully that not too, not too much because then those piston rings pop up in here and then I insert when there is this shape in, in this cylinder tubes and then is, then is this next hint then we need to all time press down this piston ring tool continuous, constantly so, so long that this piston is in inside in this cylinder tube this is this is important and then then it ha then we check that that is this that there is no any hole between that tool and then the cylinder tube and then and I start to start to hammer this piston back and for that is good that we have some plastic or wooden lock and we carefully in in very easily we tap like this way not, not not like hammer very easily and carefully I start to tap and this piston goes down and say all, all time in same way I press this this metallic compression ring tool down and I, I and this piston goes down all, all time and now there is resistance and this means that now those compression rings are going in this this tube and it goes nicely and, and now there happened that that this piston is not moving okay and this is and then we do that also carefully and and carefully small hits and different different sides in this piston like in here here and and carefully and and then we can also and, and now now it happens that that I missed I missed to take and insert this piston ring and and there is this first piston ring is now open and if this happens we do so that we take this piston out and it happens so that I insert my finger in this uh, engines down and I little bit pull out this piston and now I do that and, and I insert my hand in there there is this connection road and now this piston went up and and we check that everything is fine yes everything is fine and now I I think that this is like training there is first I check that these holes are in right position and here is also this hole is in okay and then I start to Then I start to compress, compress this, press this release button. It's 
seems to be. A little bit sticked. Okay, and now it's in there. And again, I check that is everything okay. And I insert that in back. And as we can see, this is not not a really easy job. <coughs> this is not so easy then to drink only coffee. Okay, now it's in fine. Okay, <coughs> and and again I insert that in there and new new dry. And first, first of course those cylinder upper areas in there, and then then again. Okay, and now now I was I was more lucky because there is this piston. Okay, excellent. And in second turn this worked well. And then, then there is next step that that we check that is there everything fine that I press this piston down and if, if we don't hear any cracking or bad noise, then everything is fine. Piston rings are nicely. And next step is that uh, that I insert those three other pistons in those cylinder tubes, and and then we I do next video where I saw that what is this piston's location in there because it is really critical and. Now I I saw a little bit that what I mean and I, I insert again my hand in here down. This is my hand and then I a little bit move up this connection road and this carefully and, and then then I and in here when I have hand in the in this pillow I can take this connection road and I can rotate this piston ring in this way. And and it's 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 easier to rotate and of course, we could rotate in here, but it is not so easy. Okay, and this was that video. And and the next video, I saw that what is this pistons, these places that are these these shapes in in here or in here. I believe that because these are so big that the, these are intake. Those intake valves, those. Uh, places and and those uh, areas where intake valves must fit and it means that these positions are in here because this area in here is intake manifold but let's check and, and then there is also by the way this Toyota's way that there is this small hole what is in here and it normally it, it could be this direction could be in this uh, in this number of one and zero area what is in here. But let's see. In next video I will I will tell that I will tell that what is the right place in this piston for this. Okay and thank you for watching and please remember to use clean cotton and 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 now I I I throw away this my old cotton because it is it is so dirty. Please always use clean and and thank you for watching and we continue.